Very quick before this video begins, at the end of the video I will announce a Portal 2 puzzle making event and the launch of a Discord server for this channel. So in case you're primarily interested in that, skip to the timestamp shown on screen right now. If you're interested about the story behind me and my YouTube channel, please enjoy the show. On the 13th of February 2013, I created my YouTube channel. For a year or so, I had been experimenting with making music on my computer and I figured it might be fun to share my creations with the world. On the 10th of May 2013, just shy of three months after my channel's creation, I uploaded my very first video, a cover of Pokemon's Lavender Town theme with a still image drawn in MS Paint. And at the time, I was 15 years old. I have a distinct memory of asking a friend if they knew how to set up an AdSense account. They jokingly replied by asking me if I was expecting to get famous on YouTube. I recall replying that really, no one ever knows what may happen. But regardless, I decided to first see how well my channel would perform. I remember the disappointment that after the first week, my Lavender Town cover had only reached 7 views. And after 2 weeks, my channel had only reached a milestone of 10 views. I told some of my friends at school about my channel and started posting on Facebook about my new uploads. A handful of people subscribed and some people watched. After a month, I released my 100 views special. I would continue to upload on Fridays, each song accompanied by a drawing for a long time. My videos would average about 10 views each and I was content. After 6 months, I celebrated my 10 subscriber special. <laughs> I was just having fun. After one year, I had released two full albums, each with 16 tracks, of which two extended versions of earlier uploads. Six months later, I released my 1000 view special and I switched to using images for my videos instead of drawings, because I was running out of inspiration for them. In the summer of 2016, I was to upload my 100th track, another remix of Gorilla's Feel Good Inc. Just a few days after uploading, I noticed I was getting many views, almost two every hour. To experience such unprecedented musical success on YouTube after more than three years of persistence, might my time have finally come? For the first time in years, excitement took a hold of me and hope started to grow like a weed in an abandoned garden. I never quite saw any numerical success with my music. This view soon began to fade, along with my excitement, though for years it would remain lonely at the top on the chart of my most popular videos. Mid-2017 I switched to visualizers for my music videos because it looked more dynamic, and in late 2018 I would stop writing the total channel-wide view count in the description of my videos. This was around the time of my 200th upload. It had been approaching 8000, a culmination of years of dedication and hard work. It had been a figure I was quite proud of. Back in 2014, on the 20th of August, I had finally been persuaded by my high school friends to purchase both games in the Portal franchise, which had been on sale for only 6 euros and 24 cents. My old laptop had never worked so hard as when it was trying to provide me with the smoothest 20 frames experience in the 640 times 480 window while running Portal 2. Regardless, I loved the game instantly. Even though I peaked early with my March 2015 creation called the Tower of No Scopes, I mainly played community maps during this first year. After countless terrible front page maps, I finally discovered a phenomenal puzzle designer, Einar von Wielen. Through his Talos Principle test series that rather remarkably would sometimes reach the front page, his maps and personal support inspired me to finally put some proper thought into my own puzzles, which culminated in May 2017 in my maps Square Puzzle, which to this day is still one creation I hold very dearly. Sadly, to my great discontent, the effort I put into my maps was not reflected by the reception. My comment sections remained empty and the ratings were stuck at 2 or 3, and my work was virtually invisible to the world. Not long after that, I published a puzzle that was so simple that I wasn't sure if it was even worth posting. The map was called Two Cubes, and by pure chance, 
it reached the front page. The excitement of receiving kind comments was unlike anything I had ever experienced before. One of those comments was with one of the well-known YouTubers and Twitch streamers called Nock, who would for years upload his blind runs on Portal 2 maps daily on his YouTube channel. An all-round great person who would highly recommend anyone to check out. He solved my map in the final two minutes of a stream and he did not even deem it worthy for an upvote. In the comments I suggested him to play Square Puzzle, for I was certain that a puzzle lover like him would greatly enjoy it. But alas, at the time, Nock was rightfully unimpressed and thus ignored my request. Demon Arisen's puzzle Chrysotile, unfathomably skillfully hammerized by Stract, hit the front page later that year through a second incredible twist of fate. The discovery of Demon's Workshop opened up a wealth of fantastic puzzles that I had never even dared imagine existed. I played and enjoyed the puzzles from Fumbly Bumbly, Atom, Enigmatic and many more. I continued to devote countless hours of my time to crafting challenging puzzles by myself for the better part of a year, finally receiving a small amount of recognition by one or two old school players, which I greatly appreciated and which really kept me going. And then it happened. Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a collection request from Dante Minutio to play the maps from Mike Astro in his collection of Mike Astro's logical maps, or best of Mike Astro's logical maps for everyone. This is the collection I got. So we're going to start off today with Section by Mike Astro. Dear Front Page, I have nothing to tell you, for we will probably never meet again. <laughs> Difficulty 4 out of 10, and it's been favorited by Fumbly Bumbly. Sincerely, Mike Astro. Alright, let us get started then. My maps were suggested to the legendary Portal 2 YouTuber LB. I remember just how insane it felt to see my map section being played, enjoyed and appreciated to entertain so many viewers. And shortly after, Nox started doing the same. I particularly cherished Demon Arisen's comment on section praising my work for a long time after I received it. To be recognized by someone to whom you look up so much, someone whose own work you so deeply respect, truly made a very deep impact on me. I continued posting many thoughtful puzzles in rapid succession. During the summer of 2018 I was at the peak of my portal creativity. I had ideas aplenty and the time and luck to make them all work out. Standards not high enough to spend too much time but not low enough to produce bad results. Inspired by the videos of LB and Nock, on one of the first days of 2019 I uploaded my first own blind run video of a portal map on my YouTube channel. The first non-music content my channel had ever seen. My commentary was very poor, but the people were encouraging. That year I interspersed playthrough videos of very challenging puzzles with my music, while also posting more puzzles myself on Steam. But in the second half of that year, my portal releases became more scarce. But it didn't mean that I wasn't working on new puzzles. An ambitious mod project that never really got off the ground had asked me to design puzzles for them. And so I did. And when the project was declared dead, I released all my puzzles into what is now known as the Reliquia series. It was a massive success. The maps were generally well designed, yet almost all of them reached the front page. The response from the community was all great as well. I reached 100 followers on Steam and it seemed like I was able to inspire many people who would otherwise have only played terrible front page maps. And at that moment, for the first time I felt like maybe I could make a difference. After the series concluded, I started to work together with Leo on a single map project that was arguably even more ambitious than the whole series combined. After four months, we had devised a puzzle so complex that I was unsure if I would have been able to beat it myself if I hadn't co-created it. The process had been such a blast that I wished to share it with the community, so whimsically I decided to spend the whole week of my summer vacation to document the creative process in video format and upload it to YouTube. This video is linked in the description below. And the reception was well, and amassing a few hundred views, 
it was one of the most popular videos on my channel. After that, my final long summer vacation concluded, and, as I had completed my education, I started to work. I had even less time than before. The number of maps I published fell dramatically, as well as the number of blind run videos. Towards the end of the year 2020, I reached 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I would still regularly upload music that I had already produced in the past, and some of my covers and remixes reached over a thousand views, to my great excitement. Come summer 2021, and I started toying with the idea of making another video essay about Portal 2. I remember enjoying the process quite a bit, and it had been over a year since I had last attempted doing it. After talking with some of the members from the community, I decided to take a deep dive into the phenomenon surrounding the Portal 2 front page. After using a week of my holiday to record and edit, I uploaded the video shortly before Christmas. It was a great success. During the first month, it got about 700 views, equal to my first full year on YouTube. And in addition, I got many kind or insightful comments. I was happy, and I was content. And by January of this year, everything had basically returned to how it had always been. Until... One day... It is difficult to describe how it feels to truly want something for a long time, to then come to terms with not having it and to then suddenly achieve it. Even if everything falls apart tomorrow, I'm really grateful to every single one of you watching my videos. To reach a milestone like 5000 subscribers after such a long journey in so many years, even if you guys have only seen a short part of it. To finally have an audience and to be able to share the knowledge I've accumulated over my many years of avidly playing Portal 2. This is really a dream come true. I never asked any of you to subscribe, but many of you did it anyway. And that's what makes it truly special. It is my hope that you will continue to be here as my channel keeps developing. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And look. The point of this video is not to dwell on numbers too much. I mentioned those only to show the starkness of the contrast between this year and all that came before it. Views, likes, subscribers, all these things are just numbers on a the screen. They're almost meaningless to me. What matters much more are your comments. Getting a hundred silent views excites me much less than receiving a single thoughtful comment. And this is why this whole story has been tied together with so many of them. Your thoughts are meaningful. I really love the interaction and the feedback. To facilitate this kind of interaction, I've decided to host a Portal 2 mapping contest for everyone on this channel to participate. The rules are simple. Make a PTI portal puzzle using at least one of the concepts that I explained in my videos so far. I've set up a Discord server for this YouTube channel which is linked in the description below. You will be able to submit your maps there by just posting a workshop link. Even if you don't want to participate, please do not hesitate to join anyway to chat with fellow portal and puzzle enthusiasts, just like you. Numbers permitting, I intend to stream all the submissions live on this channel and give everyone constructive feedback on their work. After the deadline has passed, which will be October 31st of this year, I will announce the winners, who will receive up to 50 euros of Steam Store credit. A more detailed explanation of the rules can be found on the Discord server. Have fun designing your puzzle. So yeah, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.